Hello friends, welcome to channel 11. Today I am going to do some idea about Unity Framework. So the purpose of Unity Framework, framework is to inject the dependencies to the dependent object. So what are the dependencies we have? Automatically it needs to identify and inject those dependencies to, dependencies to the dependent object. Injecting the dependency to the dependent object is called dependent injection. So how to develop this dependency, dependency injection using Unity? I am going to do some demo in Visual Studio C Sharp.net.
Hi friends, I hope you got some idea how to implement the dependency injection using Unity. First, I, uh, I, have down, I have downloaded installed Unity framework in my solution using NuGet package. So it's not added to here. Application start the harder. We have we have Unity config here. So here I have here I have declared the registry types with my repository. So first I create the I interface, interface corresponding classes. So I have registered here. So I will go here repository. These are the my methods on my repository. So I implemented the same in, in my class. So I have the get set get delete and add also. So, so in my get I am based on the ID I am returning. So this is my repository. And uh, so after I install, I have registered my repository under this Unity config. And after that, I have one more file get added Unity added Unity MVC activator. So here I did not do any changes. This is the start. So for this activator, this is start method. So whenever it is going to start, it is going to initialize this. So uh, this lines it's get uh, this lines get automatically added so I did not change anything here so uh, if I observe the start method we have the dependency resolver set resolver so it automatically uh, adding that uh, container to resolver method so after this what I did is I added this unity frame unity act I added I called this method from the global that is x on start method application start method i added that method here unity ms activated the start this is only changes i did after this i have uh, in my controller uh, whatever i have controller that is product controller so i have created constructor this on this controller in constructor i have declared my repository interface here so and i have created a local variable and i assigned that uh, that repository uh, method to my local variable repository from there i have access the methods so whenever i run this application unity framework will automatically identify the uh, mappings for this repository corresponding class it will automatically identify based on the config and uh, create the object and assign to you and pass, uh, create the object pass to this my local web from here I can able to access the methods so uh, using this I can say I am decoupling uh, from the uh, classes also I am not going to create anywhere directly create instantiate in any classes using unity framework I, uh, I am able to deep decouple the application so uh, that's that's what i have idea about to uh, unity framework i would like to share my information here there might be some other unity frameworks also available so uh, for today demo i just use unity framework thank you thanks uh, for your time thank you for watching my video please like it Share it and also subscribe my channel for more videos.